Every Monday, about 150 people line up in the parking lot of the Christian Life Center in Prince George's County, Maryland. Joan Oswald, whose family has lived in an emergency homeless shelter since April, got here early. I had a lot of difficulties finding help with food, but since I met Pastor Sly, we don't have to worry about the food for my family. Every day there's food in my refrigerator. Everyone in line receives bread and a full bag of produce weighing more than five kilos. Everything's free. That's why you have a line here. Everybody's hurting right now and everybody has need, no matter what background you're from. That prayer changes things. Pastor Ben Sly runs the Christian Life Center. He began the weekly food distribution to low-income residents in the Washington suburbs a year and a half ago. Every Monday, he rents a refrigerated truck to pick up fruits and vegetables from the two largest produce companies on the East Coast, Taylor Farms and Coastal Sunbelt Produce. It's approximately around 20,000 pounds per week. Over, it could be sometimes we'll receive just 5,000. Today, we'll receive up to 40 to 50,000 pounds of fresh produce between the two uh, organizations. The program began when Sly was told about the huge amount of produce sitting in warehouses with nowhere to go. James McWhorter is a vice president of Coastal Sunbelt Produce. We sell millions of cases of fresh fruits and vegetables every year, and sometimes we have a little leftover. Um, the quality standards of our customers are very high, so if the produce gets a couple days old, maybe we can't sell it to our customers, but we certainly don't want it to go to waste. If the surplus produce doesn't get picked up, McWhorter says, the company has to throw it out. Best case scenario, it would go to be composted. Worst case scenario, it would go to the landfill. About 40 percent of all the food produced in the U.S. is wasted, according to a recent report by the National Resources Defense Council. Bob Keefe is its spokesman. And it's a huge waste, both monetarily and environmentally. We estimate that about $165 billion every year is wasted on food that we never eat. Back at the Christian Life Center, about 20 local nonprofit groups take Sly's leftovers to distribute. Vegetables are hard to get, you know. You can get all the bread, but vegetables are very hard to get. Watch out. Very thankful. A lot of families are, uh, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, so them not having to buy those expensive vegetables is, is, is a pretty good thing for them. Ben Sly says it is a blessing to be able to reduce food waste and help feed people in need. For producer June So, Amy Katz, VOA News.